What's going on, guys? I am late, late, late. You'll see my my walls are bare. Uh, I actually, uh, this is the whole story to why I didn't get a chance to shoot the video uh, at the on comic book day on Thursday or Friday. Um, I actually found out I live in an apartment downtown Newfoundland, and I actually found out that this building is being shut down. They told us on Friday and said, we have a new apartment. It's like four times bigger than the apartment I'm in now. But they're like, you gotta move like in four days. So I'm getting ready, we move tomorrow. So I didn't I didn't get a chance, I had to pack my entire house. So alas, I have to start a new comic book room, but I do have one, so that's always exciting. And, uh, Anyway, I have a pretty big uh, pile. Uh, I have some back issues and some new issues. Um, I didn't get any figures or anything. Um, just with the move, uh, I'll buy them when I I'll buy them this week or something. Uh, so we'll I read everything, so that's always a positive. So we'll start with issue number 10, Fearless Defenders, the Infinity tie-in. This isn't a series I collect, uh, but it's Infinity, so I must. Um, I don't know a lot about this series. I didn't mind it. It was all right. Cover was kind of funny, like making fun of like a step-up hip-hop movie. Uh, it was all right. Um... Like most of the tie-ins, like, it, it, they don't really matter, so. It was just like, eh. Then we have the part four of six, Infinity. And what is going on? My boy got his ass kicked, ass handed to him. Black Bolt got served, and I was, I cried a little tear there. I was sad. But, uh. This issue is pretty good. The ending, so good, so good. I don't like Thor overly, but Thor was badass in that ending. I won't say much so I don't spoil it, but I'm loving this. Collect it. Do it. And then this is a book I bought. Uh, I didn't, I, I kept saying I'm not going to buy into it. I'm not going to do it. And then I did it. Green Lantern Corpse Part 2. Uh, I had to get this because of the Lights Out tie-in. Um, I collect Green Lantern. Lights Out is the event going on right now. And of course, it's spreading throughout all the Lantern books. And you have to read these to know what's going on. So, got it. Thumbs up. I actually like this. I'm... Um, and because, you know, as I say all the time, because of my, like, collection OCD, I'm probably going to have to end up picking up some Green Lantern Corpse. I did like the book, though. I love this event. Uh, Relic is, is a great villain. It's an interesting story. You should be on this. The next is, of course I would be pulling this. Issue number one of Hulk and the Agents of Smash. This basically is the comic book that is accompanying the new uh, cartoon, which is the same title. Um, all this is, if you watch the show, they just convert the episodes into comics. Uh, so it's fun. It's just a fun, like, kid-friendly book. I, I like it, and it's Hulk, so I'm forced to pull it. Then next... Uh, Always, this book, I don't know why I've liked it since it's, sorry, I've liked it, <laughs> my nose itches. I've liked it since it came out, Is this is issue number four, Avengers AI. This always surprises me, I say, but I've liked every issue so far, so I don't know why. But it's one of those titles that I'm always like, uh, like, it's going to start getting bad eventually, and it just keeps getting better. So, ooh. Ooh, two yawns. I'm sorry. Moving's got me tired. So, yeah, Avengers AI, I really like this. Um, it's cool to see Vision, like, torn between what he wants to do. 
Like, see, I'm not, I don't want to, like, say much about these comics because they're all new, so. But if you're not picking that up uh, and you like Vision, if you like the one shot when Age of Ultron was out of, like, Victor, uh, Ultron's son, I mean, this is pretty cool. It's pretty badass. It's just Hank Pym and a whole Avengers team of AI robots, so how can you not like it? I would suggest it. The next we have... Probably my least favorite. Yeah. Infinity number four. Superior Spider-Man team up issue number four. Infinity tie-in. This is the book that like... I don't know. Can someone tell me? Like I thought it took forever for the issues to come out. Like it seems the issues are not well spaced. This just came out. Now the next one is coming out. Like, it's not a good book. I don't like it. I, I like, really like the first one. I like where it was going. But it, maybe it's just with the Infinity tie-ins, but they are garbage. Like, you read this book and then you finish it and you say, why did I care? Like, why did I just waste five minutes of my life? Like, I didn't care. I didn't need to know. It, it has no relevance to, to, like... Infinity or Superior Spider-Man, like, it just doesn't matter. So, unfortunately, this was the big thumbs down. Ooh, ooh. I'm yawning, man, I'm yawning. Next, issue number one, Superman Wonder Woman. Uh, this was probably the surprise of the week. I wasn't sure how this was going to be. I kind of felt they were aiming this towards a female demographic. They were really pushing, like, that this was a book. It's about their relationship as lovers and partners. Love the cover. The cover's like a big pull-out cover um, with all the characters associated with Superman and Wonder Woman. I actually love this. Uh, I thought the love story works well in it. It's an interesting aspect. Clark Kent... You know, Superman hides who he is with Clark Kent, whereas Wonder Woman is proud of who she... Not, I shouldn't say that, because Superman is proud of who he is, but he feels he needs that secret identity where Wonder Woman doesn't hide who she is as a superhero. And it's cool. They have a cool dynamic. The villain that's going to be for this first arc showed up at the end of this. Should be cool to see. As I've been saying the last couple ones, Superman has been becoming more and more up in my top list. I'm enjoying stories involving Superman. So this is great to have something different. So uh, definitely a cool, cool read. Pick it up. So next is, uh, this is Variant, one of the variants. I believe it's Variant C. For the new Archie book. I hate Archie, but Afterlife with Archie. Um, where are they from? Like Glendale or something it's called. But basically, this cover should tell you all. This is Archie with zombies. And it is amazing. It's written amazing. The artwork's amazing. The covers are amazing. This is probably like my favorite book of the week, pretty much. Um... Archie, like I said, with a rated M twist, it's bloody, it's gory, like, it's got just enough, like, I don't know, like, like, sass to it, like, it's, it's great, especially for someone like me that hates Archie, so, pick this up, if you're not, we're probably not friends. Then we have number three, this is cover B, Grim Fairy Tales Oz, um, Love this cover. Do you like it? I like it. Um, yeah, this, this this is an okay book. I, I like it. I don't... It's not probably in my favorites. Um, it's getting more interesting. It's only a miniseries. Uh, but it's one of those books, like, I've read it, and I try to talk about it, but I don't overly remember it. it it's... Eh... Like I said, once I'm done with this and uh, I'm finished the rest of the minis, um, Xenoscope I'm going to trade with. I think they'll read better in trade than they will single issues. 
and my pull list is way too large. So this uh, book finished uh, the, I guess they, this would have been the second last mini I have is Grim Fairy Tales Hunters Shadowlands. This is cover B. I love that cover. So this is done now. All I have left is Oz. I was pulling Oz, this one, and the Werewolves. Werewolves is done. This is done now. Uh, this was good. I, I enjoyed it, but it it continues on. Like, if you want to find out what happens. Oh, so tired. I'm telling you. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, Unleashed here. You have to be reading Unleashed. I'm going to get that in trade. So, it was good. Good little read. Then we have issue number three, Image Sidekick. I, uh, I I love this book. I still love this book. Um, this guy cannot get a break. This this is a book about if you you're not reading this, you should. It's funny. I know a lot of people were like, oh, like the whole book about the sidekick's been done, but it's got a cool twist on that kind of story, and it's just it's a it's a really dark, cool book. Love the artwork. Um, the writing's amazing. Check that out. And then this is one that's not on my poll. Um, but I picked it up because I wanted to check it out. And I will be pulling it from now on. It is Vertigo number one, Coffin Hill. This was amazing. Witchcraft, blood, guts, girls. It, it's it's cool it's dark it's vertigo so it's an adult themed book vertigo if you don't know if you're watching this you obviously probably do know but vertigo is dc's like adult company where they put out their more adult books this was actually really good it's getting added in my pull list i love it love it then another issue i really enjoyed was issue number 24 batman zero year we're done with villains month Fuck you, Villains Month. We're back to the uh, the story arcs, the stories. I love this book. The only thing I didn't love is that right there. That six ninety nine price. It's a three ninety nine book, and I forgot that it's a six. It was double sized this month. I'm a, I'm assuming because of Villains Month, they they wanted to get all of what they had planned before Villains Month out. It was a great issue, though. It was worth the six ninety nine. We've concluded the Red Hood. We're about to. We found out the villain for the next arc. Amazing! I'm pumped for it. I'm not gonna say who it is. You need to look it up on the net or read it, because I'm not gonna be the spoiler here. But it is amazing. Then we have issue number twelve, Captain America. Love the cover. Um, this was alright. I thought this was actually the weakest issue so far in the whole series. Obviously, I'm not going to drop or anything. The entire series has been strong other than this. Um, but I mean, it's also the beginning of a story arc. They're trying to build up some background on, on this fella and, uh, and the villains to come. So, I'll give it a shot. I, I just didn't overly like it. I It was slow. Nothing exciting really happened. Eh. This was the week of number ones, it seems. Uh, then we have Cryptozoic Man from Dynamite issue number one. Of course, the big promo for this, if you can see right there, was uh, this was pitched on Comic Book Men by Stan Lee, I think. And I can't tell you whether I like it or not. This was probably the weirdest thing I've ever read. It just kind of start. I feel like it's a mini series, and I feel like the second one I may start to like it. It's cool art. Like all this stuff is incorporated. You see on the cover. It's just like they kind. It's one of those stories that it starts in the middle of the story, so I don't really know what's going on right now. So I feel like we're gonna find out. It's piqued my interest though. Nothing like I've ever seen. It's pretty cool. And then uh, another number one from Titan Comics. We have Death Sentence number one. 
loved this book, loved it. Um, if you've never heard of it, if you see a first issue, pick it up. Um, I don't know how many shops would be carrying it. I don't know how popular it is. Um, but it was, it was really good. I mean, the general plot is that, uh, there's a new STD going around and when you catch it, you only have six months to live. That's the negative. On the plus, you basically get superpowers for that time period once you, uh, contract it. So this is, uh, you know, about the people that have contracted this and what they decide to do with their time. I uh, really enjoyed it. It's something different. I'm always looking for something different because I pull a lot of superhero comics. So I like different non-superhero stories. Really enjoyed this. This will get like two thumbs up for sure. Then we had the old double shipment. Uh, Dexter number four, if I'm correct. Number three had come out the week before. Um, this was good. This is the second last. It's only five issues, I believe. So, hmm. it was good. We're getting, I think we all know who the uh, the villain he's chasing is, the bad guy. So, we're just kind of waiting to see what happens. Uh, I, I don't think you're going to see anything too crazy. I think it'll be exactly like the Dexter show, and it'll be pretty much what we expect to happen. So, it was an all right mini. Um, it was a good read, fun read, but it wasn't over, it wasn't. Uh, an amazing comic at all. So we'll see with the finale. Uh, then for back issues. This one is a little newer back issue. But uh, my shop got a couple more like uh, the first prints of the 3D Villains Month in. And this was one I didn't have that I did need. That I wanted. So this is Yell. Each, uh, uh, me and my woman were arguing over how you say his name. I say it's Hiel. I know L's like a big thing in the Superman, but maybe you can tell me the pronunciation. Um, but I'm collecting this because I, I'm contemplating on picking up Superman, so I did want to have as much as a go at the run as I could, because I do like to have full out, complete runs. Uh, this is a pretty good book. It, I'm new in the Superman villain world, so... I didn't know about this character and let me know about him. I thought he was kind of interesting. So the only one I'm missing now is uh, Bizarro from the first one they put out. And I will have all the Superman ones and all the ones my heart desires. Then these are the, the back back issues. We have issue number one of all new, all different Alpha Flight. Obviously, you knew I was going to pick this up. I collect all things Alpha Flight. So, this will be going in the collection. Great cover, eh? Got to support Canada. That's right. Right there. The Canadian superhero team. And then the rest are all uh, part of a run that I need to finish. Um, I have almost all of them. I think I have like less than 10 left to get. Um, which is Guy Gardner, the Warrior series. So I ha got issue number 23. These all have great covers. This was uh, this is great. Now, people have asked me if I like this or not. I'll be honest. I haven't read these yet because I'm going to buy it in trade. I'm going to find a trade for it because uh, I have all the comics sealed up and pretty much the whole run. So that's issue number 23. Issue number 25. Issue number 26. Issue number 28. Issue number 32. Issue number 35. Issue number 38. I love this cover. I thought that was an amazing cover. Also love this cover, issue number 39. It was like a Christmas issue. Issue number 40. And then the last issue of the entire series, issue number 43. 
So that will be going in there. That's all I got. Um, I continue talking, but I'm sure after 20 minutes, you're tired of listening to me. So hopefully I will be back up and running uh, this week as normal. We'll see. I'm hoping my internet being disconnected from here, hooked up to the new place is a smooth transition. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. So as always, you already know, turn up. We'll catch you next time.